Wait. what's good what's poppin and welcome to part two of this reaction video where we are reacting to a, a j-pop group that has been recently surfacing the global audience i guess you could say it is psychic fever if you've watched part one then you know what i think about the music videos and this part we're going to react to their performance videos if you have not seen part one i highly recommend watching that one first there's only two performance videos one being the very first music video we reacted to just like that and the second one is a song that actually didn't have a music video to it but there is a performance video or it's a choreography video same difference but that is the performance videos we're reacting to today so it's going to be temperature and just like that and then at the very end we're gonna look up the group on google find out some stuff about them some facts and i'm gonna give my final consensus so i'm super excited i am literally filming these back to back so i literally just watched the music video so everything is still very fresh in my mind i'm super excited so i'm gonna stop yapping we're gonna hop right into the performance videos first up we're reacting to the choreography video for temperature have not heard this song this song did not have a music video to it so i am very intrigued as to what the song is about to be but the fact that it's got choreography to it probably means i'm gonna like it a lot because i love i love a good song with good choreo so let's see who's talking about shall we Okay. Stun on them. No, they literally look like grown men. Wait. Oh, that beat. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ooh. Yo. He comes in so hard every single time. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Tell him. The beat. Ooh. No, their choreo is crazy. They're good performers. Is it? Ooh. Okay. Oh my god, they're so adorable. The way they drop a beat every now and then, ugh. Ooh. Okay. Talk to him. Mm. Hey. Hey. They have such catchy choruses. No, this isn't the end. It's not done. Please, no. Okay. 
here's the thing right this actually might be my favorite song i know in part one i said choose one this one might actually take the cake do y'all see what i mean by like their main sound is r&b but there's just a little bit of extraness that changes it to so do y'all get what i mean like is that making sense what i said in part one because i feel like in this one right the sound was very much the same but every now and then like a bass and a beat came in i said oh oh and then like because of that it makes the song more upbeat and it's almost like hip-hop in a sense but there's still r&b in it like there's always that underlying sound of r&b and I love that. And I think their voices go very well with like the R&B genre and theme. Again, old dude with the braids when he came in rapping. His voice, I don't know. There's just something about it. It like tickles just the right part of my brain where every time I hear him rap, I'm like, I'm listening. You have my full undivided attention. I don't know what it is. I don't know what he's doing with his voice it's just it sounds so magical to me this song actually might be my favorite <laughs> i kind of wish this had a music video to it i still keep choose one as a 10 out of 10 but temperature also gets a 10 out of 10 and i feel like temperature and choose one have very similar vibes so i feel like that kind of tells you the type of music that grabs my attention and that i really like to listen to i think they're great dancers and great performers i think they did everything so well everything was so clean precise they were very synchronized and together so i i have no bad words to say like i genuinely do not i'm i'm at this point i'm like i have fallen in love with this group like i have the psychic fever i get it i completely understand why everyone has been raving about this group on tiktok ah they got me i'm trapped we got one more and it's the performance video for just like that so let's let's do it <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind about the song listening to it again. But these fits are hard. Yeah, no, the beat's crazy. Uh, this, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I do really like this song more than I think. Because the beats go crazy. <laughs> okay, maybe I like this song more than I thought from the first part. I love that beat. His voice. I don't even know which one he is, but his voice is good. Oh my god, their courses are so catchy though. Yeah. Who is that? Is he the same one I've been saying or is he... He's so good. I don't know his voice. And the chains. Oh my god, I'm not okay. No, he's so cute. Tell the suck him up and tell the suck him up. Good. They're too cool. They're too smooth with it.
I like this part. This ending, I really like it. I feel like the ending is the most hype part of it all, and I really thoroughly enjoy it. Well, you guys. I definitely have the psychic fever. I'm definitely in love with this group. I'm definitely so excited to have discovered them. I think I like just like that a little bit more than I thought I did. Just every time each person comes in for their part, it hits so hard, which I think is what they do very well is like you know how for some songs like there's always that part that's like the highlight that everyone like knows everyone looks forward to whatever i feel like what they do well is like everyone's part's a highlight part because every time someone new comes in for their part i feel like it really just like like it really hits you especially my guy who raps every time he comes in it like it literally shoots me in the heart i'm like oh my god like he's so good okay let's look up the members and the group i'm gonna read the little thing that it says it says psychic fever from exile tribe is a japanese dance rap and vocal boy group formed and managed by ldh japan and signed to the record label LDH Records. Psychic Fever is part of a collective supergroups Exile Tribe and Junior Exile and composed of seven members who were all elite students at X EXPG Studio. The group was formed in 2019, nine members, and made their major debut July 13, 2002 or 22 with the studio album PCF. They made their debut in 2022, but they've been formed and together since 2019 they've got some history behind them we love to see it so that was just like a little bit of information of them let's see there we obviously need to figure out the members so they are currently a group of seven um obviously it said that at first there was nine but now there are a group of seven so i'm just gonna go down this lovely list that they have for me oh look at that and it also gives their ages her so first one we've got oh my god i'm not gonna be able to pronounce these i'm just realizing like i'm not gonna be able to pronounce it so oh my god i don't even want to draw you guys like it's gonna be so bad please forgive me for pronouncing their names wrong okay but like work with me first member is surugi uh, sorry i feel like that's so wrong he is the first member we've got here, his position is a performer and rapper, former member of Exile Generations and Imaichi Ruji's performance team, probably butchered that as well, and he's 26 years old. Wait, so these are like, the, these guys are of age. Dope. Next up is Nakanishi Roga. Oh my god, I feel like I butchered it. I feel like I butchered it. I apologize. Um, he is 25. Would not have guessed. Um, former member of Exile Generations, Crasher Kids, and Tosaka Hiromi's performance team. He is also a performer and rapper. Next, we've got Wantanabe Ren. Oh my god, that's so that's so not right. He's 24, born in 2000. <laughs> okay, 2000s baby. Former member of Tosaka Hiromi's performance team, and he is also a performer and rapper. No, okay, so this is the guy that I like. His name's Jimmy, the guy with the braids who um, raps with a deep voice. His name's Jimmy. He's 23, 2000s baby as well. Former member of Exile Generations, Crasher Kids, and Imachi Ruji's performance team. He is performer and rapper. Avi. So, okay. We're locking that one in. My favorite rapper is Jimmy. Got it. <laughs> Next, we have Koatsu Kokoro. Oh my god. He is 23. Another 2000s baby. He is a vocalist and performer. Former member of Exile Generation and the Crasher Kids. I think he's the one from just like that that does the pre-chorus or the chorus that's always in the middle. I know for sure he's got to be the one that I literally was like, wait, who is he? He's got to be that one. And then next we've got Handarushin. Mm. He's 22. 2001 baby. He's a performer and a rapper. And for a member of Crasher Kids. And then last we've got Wesa Wisa. He's 19, so he's the youngest of the group. He's a 2004 baby. He's a vocalist and performer and former member of Crasher Kids. And I know for a fact, just looking at the picture that I'm looking at right now in the hair, I know this is the one who I said was gorgeous, but if he's not of age, he's not. 
<laughs> I know that one's him. He's of age, guys. He is definitely, I think, the one that I said was like really, really cute in Baku Baku. And then I think Koatsu was the one who I said I thought was cute or really liked from the Just Like That. And then obviously Jimmy is the rapper that I said that I really, really like. So those are the members. I'm thoroughly surprised because of their ages. I would not have expected them to be the ages they are just because I feel like most of the times they are younger but they're all close to around my age so that was that's just like shocking to me to see but that's the group i love a little seven member group they you know started their little group up in 2019 they debuted in 2022 here we are in 2024 and they're starting to get a little global recognition and everyone's talking about them on tiktok so i'm super excited to see what happens for them in the future i'm super excited to see what music they drop in the future i'm definitely going to keep up with them i'm definitely going to add a lot if not all of their music to my playlist um it says that they have an album so I'm definitely gonna listen to the album, but I definitely do want to listen to all their music they have released because I doubt that, you know, that's it. But I guess final consensus, I have Psychic Fever. I think they're a great group. I'm in love with them, obviously. J-pop is obviously about to get incorporated into my genre of music because obviously I'm missing out. Obviously I'm missing out on something because I didn't, I stick, I kind of stick to my K-pop, you know, I'm so invested in it, but obviously I need to start venturing out more and get into the J-pop scene because so far they, I have never heard nothing but bangers from J-pop. So obviously it's time to switch things up a little bit and open the doors to a new, a new genre. 100% down with the psychic fever. Final rankings of the songs. I'm going to do temperature first, choose one second, just like that third Baku Baku for it. I think all the songs are great. I think they all have their own fun little kick to them. Temperature was definitely my favorite. I couldn't believe my ears. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was so, so invested in that one. So Temperature definitely has to be the favorite. Just like that, I think hit harder the second time when I listened to it and watched the performance video for it. Choose One was still super, super good. So I couldn't, I couldn't switch them, but that's going to be the order of I guess how I liked them and how I would listen to them if I was you know choosing but I think all the songs are great I do thoroughly enjoy this group and like I said I cannot wait to see what happens with their group and the music in the future and hey maybe they're gonna get so global that they're gonna go on a world tour and end up over here in the states you know let's just maybe speak it into existence for me at least because I would love to see these guys live but no, that's just me <laughs> so that is all for this reaction video i hope you enjoyed if you did you can like comment subscribe you can follow all my socials they are linked in the description box below or you can follow the pop-ups that are in the beginning of the video so whatever you want to do and i will see you when i see you bye